Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Gemini, when I was in meditation, what I got for you is somebody reminiscing, trying to go down memory lane with you, trying to get you to remember the good times, um, change your mind about something. Is this like maybe either you or the other person is saying, I just don't want it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want it. You know, it, you really apprehensive about this. Also, I got value. You're valuable to this person. You might be more valuable to them than they are to you. So question somebody's motive here. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. What's happening for my Gemini's Aquimini? Baby, baby is yours. Baby isn't yours. Um, oh, oh. The drama yeah the tower card so you could be dealing with a scorpio or you could be having some major breakdown in a relationship you've been here before with this person you found out something or they found out something it could have something to do with sex or sexual activity and then it made the relationship come to a place where you guys have to determine what are we doing next what are we really doing here um in the rubble can we fix this i don't know one person is saying i want it the other person is saying i don't want it yeah the ace of cups Maybe somebody's coming into some newfound self. So the ace or the one is about self. Maybe somebody wants to rediscover themselves or, you know, rediscover, you know, maybe love for themselves. There's somebody who has been crying here. It could be that a man is crying over a woman here. Um, somebody doesn't want to let somebody go. You know, uh, there's friendship here. There's also a, like a lot of history, historic value in the tower card. Yeah, somebody can't let a feminine energy go, can't let the roots, somebody's rooted and grounded to you. Somebody feels like, yeah, the relationship is fragile. We just need to work on it. We need to work through this. Think about the future. Could be a Scorpio again with the five of swords coming out. Excuse me, five of cups coming out. Five of swords. We're going to come back to that. Five of cups right now. Um, somebody's in a dark place. Got two dark cards and then we got the devil showing up. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn, dark, dark, dark. Somebody's in a dark place. So if somebody's in a dark place, most time the dark searches for the one, the light. You could be the light in this person's life. So they're searching for you. They want you to bring them out of this dark place. Or this is you, Gemini. Flip, flop, reverse how you do it. You know, flip it, flop, reverse it. All right. Anyway, um, somebody is just, you know, they're not in a good place. They could be trying to manifest you or keep you out of fear. This is fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of what will happen to them or how their life will be without you or, you know, maybe their life changes or there's changes. This is trying to keep somebody, four of pentacles, in a stuck, stagnant relationship, stuck, stagnant, karmic, toxic relationship out of fear. Yeah, feminine injury, four, four, four. Somebody could be seeing 444, four, four. listen to your intuition. You are protected at this time, but definitely listen to your intuition. The universe is trying to you know, relate to you, even display to some of you, somebody is not in a good place. You know, you both need to re realize why you came together. Also learn the karmic lesson. Karmic or karma is shared. Okay. So you may have a different lesson than your person, but learn the lesson as to why you came together with said individual. Some relationships started off good or promising, or maybe it just started off real rocky and you try to make something out of nothing. Maybe, yeah, with a Taurus, Scorpio, Capricorn, uh, Aries, some older gentleman, somebody who's well-established, or it looks like they were well-established, or somebody feels like you are the emperor, or vice versa, and they, they're really trying to tie themselves to you. They can't let it go, or they can't let go, or Gemini, this is you. You can't let go of this feminine energy. Maybe the mother of, or somebody who has your children. This is an unhealthy obsession. This is fear. Fear that somebody's going to have something else. Ace of Wands. It's like you're up for the challenge. It is definitely a challenge to get this person back. But just like you're willing to throw your hat in the ring or vice versa. This is what someone else is saying that they're willing to do. It's like somebody's trying to persuade someone. Someone is saying no. Could be a Libra, Queen of Swords, Libra male. Excuse me, Libra, Libra female. This is also a Virgo. This is somebody you could have been married to. Somebody saying, I don't want it. They're rightly 
dividing. Yeah, Queen of Wands, somebody wants to go on their own, but they're walking into their life purpose and it could be with someone else or they want to date around, Three of Cups. Somebody feels like this person is getting away from them or has gotten away from them. Yeah, somebody feels like, look, we just need to be dedicated to the legacy of, okay, we don't need to let this go. You could be dealing with a Virgo. There's another woman or other women involved here. It's like somebody is tolerating or allowing it. Somebody also could have let someone else in their bedroom, okay? Somebody's not letting this relationship go, this marriage go, because there's lots of legacy, money. Where else will they go is what I'm hearing. Or some, that's how somebody feels. Somebody knows that somebody is non-committal, spying. Somebody's also looking at the other woman. She's doing nothing. She's playing her part, though. Let's get you some advice moving forward, uh, Gemini. What's the advice for Gemini? What's the advice for Gemini moving forward? Some of you being, somebody's like, come on, just stay, stay. And you just, either you don't want it or somebody else doesn't want it. Question somebody's motive. The five of Swords is what I said, but it didn't come out. Six of Wands, yeah. Somebody won the battle by leaving it. Somebody is walking off, strutting their stuff. They just don't want this. Um, they don't want the fight anymore. The pettiness, the drama, the love affair. It was some something scandal or scandal got out. Yeah, King of Wands was somebody who thinks that they are God's gift to women or men or both. Justice card, this person could be trying to apologize though. Make something right, make it right. I gotta go backwards, make it right before I can move forward. Reminiscing, going backwards, feeling like they're indebted to. King of Cups could be same-sex relationship. If it is not, then it's, it, you know, it's more so two people in their respective energy, kingly energy. When have you ever seen another king just concede to another king? No, it's a, it's a war. And whoever wins the war, you know, they win the kingdom or they win, they, they decapitate the king. I don't know. You don't see kings just say, oh, okay, yeah, man, you got it. That's not how he or she became king. You know, so it's gonna, it's like, there's no concession being made. Nobody's conceding, nobody's giving in. There is no yin yang, it's just yang. Energy is just like, no, nah, you're going to get down and lay down. That's how it is in this relationship. There could be somebody here who has two different men in their life. They have them have to make a decision. The tower here is showing up again. Somebody's wanting to heal a relationship after something got expelled or it got out. Yeah, because there's scandal here. So it's like maybe something was out in the public, on a public platform, or is in, in their little community, everybody knows about it. And then it's like, oh, now you want to heal the relationship after you made me look like a fool in front of everybody or the world. Yeah. So that's what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there, Gemini. The advice for you is maybe heal. You could heal this relationship. It is up to you, but you both, you and your person are at an energy where it's just like there's no concession being made. Um, you see it your way, they see it their way. There is somebody who wants to apologize to you. It could be same sex, um, but you've been here with this person before. You may even find yourself here again. It's what I have for you. Get your own personal reading so we can figure out your, your life together. Readings are on sale 50% off. Use code 50 off at checkout um confidentiality of course it's always confidential here if you want to get your own personal reading um i don't know why that came up so anyway um i am live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you many blessings to you take care